Alright guys, welcome back to Green Tea Garden. Plant looking really good. So this is one of my zucchini plant that I attack multiple times, two to three times by fine borders. So normally you guys know fine borders will attack one time. They will lay one egg. But what happened, I had found one over here, right here in that hole. Pulled it out, say let's say Monday, and I came back Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, this plant was lucky enough to get another one right here, which you can see I made a split. And then come back another two days, right over here up top. I found another one and I made another split. So it was three. But you could see it still survived the plant attack from vine border. And I did found one of the two of the leaves which I pruned out had squash bugs, uh, eggs on the bottom. And uh, basically it survived. So the only thing you have to make sure with vine border attack, you can see how we had to cut in here to get the vine border out which mean your plant has lesser chance to absorb water now. So instead of watering every two to three days, you're gonna have to water every one to two days. If you don't do that, your plant is gonna go into more distressed mood, it's gonna be underwater. So because of this problem, I noticed that, that it the leaf will get droopy uh, within two to three days faster than the normal plant, which didn't get attacked. So you just have to make sure with water, and what I realized too, um, my nutrition. Do not have any fertilizer on hand right now. I, you know, normally I use like home compost. Or what you could always do if you don't want to use fertilizer, you could just get out the top layer of your soil. Don't go down too deep from the root, guys. And then put back fresh soil. Fresh soil have a lot of nutrients inside. And then what you could do, sprinkle some coffee ground on the top. And then come back like a couple days later on. And then add some um, garden lime for calcium because if not these guys are going to get rotten really really fast so that's an that's an organic way if you guys don't want to use any fertilizer or anything or if you have compost which i did add compost here uh, in a couple months back but i'm pretty sure this plant already used up all that so the only thing i'm going to end up doing i'm going to show you i'm going to take up some layers from the top of the soil add back some fresh soil coffee ground eat a grass clipping too so you guys could use fresh grass clipping and another thing you could see i prune out all the leaves and i stop before my veggies and i do have about eight to ten leaves and then another thing what i'm going to do this one is already reach its size and cut that out once i take this out look at this beautiful so once i take this out now the plant is going to use more energy now into this one this one's going to be ready in like two three days so we have since we have multiple leaves I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna take out that one more leaf. You guys can see right there. I like to keep it a little bit greener, like that. Um, this one, by looking at the color, it's more on the yellow side. It's definitely because of nutrition. This plant need more nutrition and I don't think it's gonna make it. And then the flower is missing too. Sometimes if it's pollinated three to four inches and a flower falls off, it will still grow so you guys don't have to worry but then i'm looking at one right here you can see that one is yellow so i don't think that's gonna make it but then i'm looking here at the new one that one is looking really good still so and then i have another baby one coming up on the top over there so this is all guys if you're new this is all your female flowers this is going to be a female flowers this is your fruit that's where um that's how your veggies is going to be grown right there um what i'm going to do i'm going to come back and harvest this i'm going to you know leave this on for a day or two and watch it and if it's not going to grow just prune it out and get rid of it guys and i'm going to come back here later on and i'm going to show you guys how i'm going to make a shorter video to show you guys how i'm going to boost this up organically without any kind of fertilizer or anything because i'm not going to go to buy fertilizer i'm being honest with you i'm not i'm just going to go and use what i have home i'm going to have two cup of coffee and i'm going to get some fresh soil and i'm going to show you what i have a cheap bag soil i'm going to show you how i'm going to use it how i'm doing it and we're gonna get this plant growing and it looks like nothing happened. So you guys could always wrap this up with a uh, aluminum foil if you want, or you know, or just leave it like that. But I'm gonna keep tying it here so it doesn't break off. But as you guys could see, we got new leaves coming in and new fruit coming in. So it, it's healthy, it's nothing is wrong with that. So just remember, if you got any sign of vine border, you'll see, you'll basically see your plant guts are out here start coming in look where it feel from your plant whichever is hard and you'll see like a a drill spot 
don't cut exactly the drill spot come a little bit higher because these guys eat upward so come the feel the hardest point and into the softest point right there cut around here and you'll find that get them out and once you get them out keep up with the watering and keep up with nutrition nutrition pruning and you guys will be fine this plant will produce non-stop so it's not the end if you're late and they eat at all the bottom well then you have no chance with this plant all right guys thank you so much for watching green tea garden i just wanted to show you guys if you got attacked by vine borders it's not the end just um you know you just have to put a little extra time and work in your plant we'll still get to harvest many more before the season is over guys if you're new welcome to green tea garden we're all about growing a better home garden that's my pig over there eating uh, please subscribe is 100 percent free you click on the bell icon every time i upload it you'll get it right away and i got a lot more videos in the playlist and more videos coming up i got to harvest another cucumber again so i'm going to show you guys i'll see you guys next time and thank you again to everyone who's been watching and supporting i really 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 appreciate you guys and we're so close to 3,000 subscribers so i'm super excited